So let's talk about machine learning on source code. Uh, what is machine learning on source code? Well, it is machine learning that you apply on source code. Uh, the input is source code. That is the main thing. It's rather than learning from images or natural text or videos or whatever, we're learning from source code itself. And uh, other than that, it's actually not that revolutionary. And there's actually many fields that are very, very heavily related to this. You can think, for instance, about data mining. Uh, we have many repositories across all of the possible servers, Git servers that we have around the world, right? Like you have Apache Foundation, but also GitHub. There's so many other places where you can store code. So there's a lot of data, and that data needs to be put together, unified, clean. All of these things are things that are not new. People have been doing this for quite a while. And data mining has a lot of techniques that we use in ML and code. Uh, in a similar way, natural language processing, uh, the skills from natural language processing actually apply really well to what we do. Uh, there's a lot of common aspects in between understanding code and understanding uh, human language. The main difference is that when you're learning, when you're understanding uh, human language, you're e quite easily you're able to reproduce some of that human language because it's very flexible. If you create a sentence that rings a little bit weird, but people still understand you, you're fine, right? Like, I'm able to be on stage, and I'm sure that most of the words that I'm saying are correct, but not all of them. And the message still goes well. If you do that with code, if you generate source code that is almost correct, but not quite, it's just not correct, right? It just doesn't compile. So even though it's similar techniques, they actually apply in a completely different way. And then finally, there's the part of a graph-based machine learning that I just add to make, you make sure that you understand that this is not easy. There's a lot of really fancy maths that we're going to avoid completely today. Uh, what, does, what do you need to do machine learning on source code? Uh, source code, lots of it, like really, really lots of it. Uh, we have data sets that contain like, all of the repositories on GitHub, and we analyze those, right? Uh, and that is not in enough code, because uh, even if you analyze all of the code on GitHub, there's a lot of code that is outside that you've never seen. So you need as much code as possible. Then fancy, fancy machine learning algorithms, which I'll mention a little bit. And then a little bit of luck. There's a lot of statistics here, which means that sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. You know exactly how often that happens, though, which is good. But that still means that sometimes the predictions you will do will, will not be correct. And you need to deal with that and prepare. When you're preparing a product, you need to deal with the fact that your product will be wrong. 